Good morning, and thank you for joining us for this virtual Veterans Day Assembly. This day is important as we mark the sacrifice of those men and women who have served in our armed forces. Where I grew up, we called this day Remembrance Day. And I think about that word remembrance and what it means. This day of solemn recognition, day of solemn remembering the dead, those who have served their country to protect our freedoms. So as we hear from our ASB this morning, from different members of our armed forces, we remember those who have gone before us in this act of service. We remember their sacrifice, the sacrifice of their families, and we say thank you. So enjoy the rest of this morning's presentation. Thank you for being with us. St. Patrick, pray for us. Let us begin as we always do. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty God, you are our creator and our light. You give us wisdom and our strength. Lord, you have inspired many of our best and brightest to volunteer and proudly defend our country. You have given us brave and loyal men and women who faithfully, who faithfully serve in our military. We gather today to remember and honor our veterans. We acknowledge that their service enables us to be a free people. We are reminded that it is due to their service that we live in safety. Lord, we also remember those who are currently serving. We ask that you provide them with your protection, your strength, and your peace. We ask that you protect their families from hurt and harm. We pray that for each of our veterans feel honored, not just today, but every day. Father, we also pray in a special way for our injured veterans. We realize that many deal with wounds that occurred as a result of their military service. We ask that they feel the healing presence of your love and the compassion of our grateful nation. And lastly, we thank you, Lord, for nothing is possible without you. We thank you for calling these courageous people to their service. We thank you, Lord, for our freedom and for the, women, for the men and women who have so bravely protected and defended it and continue to do so. We pray these things as always in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is our tradition to invite an honored guest to this assembly. Either a veteran or an active duty service member will address our school. This year, we are blessed and fortunate with multiple representatives of our St. Pat's school community share their thoughts on Veterans Day. They are either active duty members of the military or veterans of one of the branches of the military. Please welcome our honored guests. Hi, my name is Katie Matterson, and this is Emma. She's a fifth grader in Mrs. Shedd's class, and my son Peter is also a student at St. Pat's in Mrs. Kubert's third grade. Emma is going to ask me the questions from the, from the uh, eighth grade Veterans Day questions, and we are going to answer them. Go ahead, Emma. ASB has picked a theme to guide us this year. It is Grow Stronger Together. How does this theme connect in any way to service in the military? Grow Stronger Together definitely connects to service in the military. Typically when you're in a unit or a squadron in the Air Force, you have a, a common mission. And you have a job, of course, but you also have a common mission. 
And when everyone in that organization is working towards that common mission, you're typically very, very successful. And so growing stronger together is getting your whole team on the same page, supporting the mission, knowing their jobs, and growing stronger and being successful in your mission and your goals for your organization. Next question, Emma. What does teamwork mean in the military? Teamwork is very important in the military. It is one of the founding um, foundations for any leader in the Air Force or in the military is to build and grow and nurture strong teams. And just like in your sports or the teams that you have within your classrooms, it's important that you, you find each other's strengths and you work, and a leader usually typically organizes people to be in places to use their strengths for the whole of the team, for the best of the team. And so teamwork in the military is something that I learned a lot about in my 26 years of service and how to grow good teams, strong teams, and how to help teams um, always support each other and grow stronger together. Next question. How has serving in the military shaped the priorities in your life? So my background in the military is, it, it, like I said, it's 26 years. It's, it was a lot of time. And I joined when I was 18 years old, and I wasn't sure when I was 18 years old that I would stay in for 26 years. But I joined because I wasn't really clear about the priorities in my life. I really didn't know what I wanted to do, what I wanted to go to college for. I didn't really have a passion for any specific career field. And being in the Air Force helped me find lots of passions, um, passions for leadership, um, passions for specific missions and the units that I worked in over the years. Um, one of the biggest things that I'm proud of and that I um, was involved in was just the building, the building of teams and the supporting of other people. And I think that um, the question is how, how has it shaped the priorities in your life is through my time in the Air Force, because I grew, I personally grew as a person and became very successful. I wanted to lift other people up and make them successful and make the mission and the organization as a whole um, a successful place to live or be in and be part of. And um, I think that I think that's a wonderful thing about the military and what makes the military so much like a family is that you get to know each other so well and you have these opportunities to be involved in encouraging people's lives and, and also doing a very fulfilling mission as well. That's the last question. So happy Veterans Day, everyone, and go, go Shamrocks. Shamrocks! Hello, St. Pat's. My name is First Lieutenant Godro, and I am currently an Assistant Intelligence Officer for Battle Group Poland in 3 of the 161 Infantry Battalion out of Camp Washington. So in my opinion, what it means to serve is to place the needs of others above your own. That means uh, making some sacrifices in order to make sure that our freedom and the American way of life can continue on, not only for our generations, but generations to come well, here in the United States and in other places across the world. Ironically enough, the ASB's motto for this year is growing stronger together. Now this is also the motto that we have here for us, the United States and our NATO allies here, which is Stronger Together, um, which really represents our joint efforts between us and our NATO partners uh, to conduct this military training while we're here in Poland. Additionally, I would like to extend a great thanks to all current and former military members as I truly appreciate your sacrifice and everything that you've done for us to be able to continue doing what, what we do and making America great. With that, go St. Pat's! Hello St. Patrick's School and Happy Veterans Day. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Dan Mangan. I'm in the United States Air Force. I'm a pilot. I've been in the Air Force for about 24 years. My connection to St. Patrick's School is through my two daughters who go to school there and they're Anna Kate who's in eighth grade and Lila who's in the fourth grade. When Mr. Miller asked me to say a few words to you all he asked me 
does your theme growing stronger together connect in any way to military service? And I said, it absolutely does. In fact, nothing could probably describe military service better than coming together and growing stronger as a team. These airplanes don't fly themselves. And through the years, I've had to rely on a strong team of ground crew people, maintenance people, administrative support people back in the offices that make this mission move. And we do it all together. So when you're out on Veterans Day and you think of thanking a veteran or an active duty service member for their service, I want you to consider one more thing. Think of thanking their team for their service and sacrifice too. And by their team, I mean their family. Thank a veteran's family for their service. Just as an example of what my team has done for me, uh, Anna Kate, since she's been born, uh, we've moved seven times. She's probably lost count of the number of different schools she's been through, through the years, supporting me, being part of my team. Lila, she's a little younger. She's probably, she's moved four times since she was born. So I couldn't do what I do without the love and support of my family team. And we've stayed strong together through the years and they've made sacrifices. So when you thank a service member for their service, thank their team too. I want you all to have a happy Veterans Day and uh, go Shamrocks. The Armed Forces Medley, also known as the Armed Forces Salute, is a collection of the official songs of the six branches of the United States Armed Forces. The newly established United States Space Force has yet to adopt an official song. The medley, as it is now, was first performed in public during the first National Memorial Day concert in 1990 on the west lawn of the United States Capitol building in our nation's Washington, D.C. Since then, the medley has become a common fixture in many band and orchestra concerts within the United States as a way to honor the active servicemen and women, reservists and veterans of the armed forces in the National Guard Bureau. For several years now, it has become part of our Veterans Day tradition. Please enjoy this salute to our various armed services branches.